What's up class, working on discussion board week three, discussion one. This is ITL 522, we're talking about syntax. Prompt says identify three strategies or learning activities for how to support students in your content area with syntax or sentence structure. Uh, it goes through a, an example with a math teacher using strategies around symbols found in an inequality uh, equation. And then says like a music teacher may build syntax uh, around how to read a line of music. So um, first of all, we touched on it. Syntax has to do with sentence structure. Um, and a lot of what I'm going to talk about with my three strategies are all instruction based. So a student can, determining on how um, information is delivered to the student it can it can affect how well that student understands what is being told to them. So one of the strategies may be focusing on um, hitting a baseball. So if I just tell students impact the baseball, I know what that means because it has to do with my funds and knowledge, but um, a lot of the resources that were shared with with us about syntax talked about having a noun verb and a subject so if i just say impact the baseball no one's going to really know what that means so if i get the class together and i say we need to hit or we need to hit the baseball hard i think there there'd be a higher level of understanding if i said that to them that way uh and you know, I can I can see where this can can definitely be a discrepancy. I was a communication at San, uh, communication major at San Diego State, so um, I'm super into this stuff, and I can see how how um, it can positively affect outcomes. So, a second example, if you know, we're throwing a football in PE class. Uh, if I just say deliver the ball to the target, there's no real subject. Um, I guess I could say something like you need to um, swing the ball to your ear and then deliver it to your target. Um, I think that that would be a, be a better way to, to go about using set sentence structure there. Uh, and then a third one would be if I was teaching a deadlift and weight training, I wouldn't just say reach down, pick up the bar and press up from the ground. Uh, it'd be more like uh, we need to do a good job of placing our hips behind our rib cage uh, and keeping our back straight and lifting with our lower half to prevent injury. Um, so I think the way that we instruct students to do certain things and how we structure those sentences can definitely impact whether or not they grasp the concept, uh, the concept being delivered to them. Um, and yeah, this is, this is just how I thought about this prompt. Like I said, I'm, I'm a communication major, so uh, dic diction, word choice, syntax, nonverbal communication, all that stuff goes into play when, um, you know, trying to get across your point in a way that, you know, other, other people can, can understand it at a high level. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Thanks.